Oh, if I look tired, it's because I am. I got a right to be tired. It's an tiring thing. And I'm so glad that God doesn't get tired. Imagine if He got tired of us. You know, got, imagine if God got in a bad mood one day. There's Keith Green over there, a little vial of dust. He asked me too many questions that day. Oh, yeah, zap. Crumble, crumble, crumble. I'm so glad God's got a nature that doesn't change. He's heavy. All the time. He loves us so much that he's going to close up shop real soon. He loves us so much that he's going to end the world for his chosen people. And it's going to happen any minute. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if an earthquake split this place in two. And all the lukewarm people fell in the middle. And the earth would go, "Mm -hmm." Mm about to happen. There's going to be earthquakes coming soon. That they're going to they're going to call they're going to make movies about. It. It's going to be called Shake and Bake. I don't like to talk about hell though. I don't like to talk about hell. I I don't like I'm, I don't talk about fire and brimstone. I like to talk about the love of Jesus because if you don't want to meet Jesus, you have plenty of time to explore hell. I don't have to tell you about it. Well, that's your strange way to start a country. Yeah. I'm so glad the Lord can turn anything into gold. Anything. I'm going to do a song uh, that I wrote with a friend of mine. He's hearing that too. But he's there. His name's Wendell Burton. You ever heard of Wendell Burton? Hey, Wendell, you want to come up and sing a song with me? I never do this kind of thing. It's like it's like the it's like the third set at the Blah Blah Cafe. Come on, Wendell, where are you? Oh, Wendell, stand up. Oh, you are standing. That's right. Come on, Wendell. You, I know, you gotta you gotta step on people to get to the top. Come on, just step on them. <laughs> Come on. Where are you? Here he comes. He's all he's all blushing too. He's all red and embarrassed. Come on, this thing. Let me see if we got another mic up here. Yeah, we we got another mic right there. Come on. Now this song you cannot clap until I give the signal in this song. See if that's working. No, you won't. <laughs> that was he doesn't know the song. <laughs> okay. We've been out partying tonight, haven't we? Okay. All right. Well, he doesn't know this song, but he'll find out. Okay, now listen. This is a song about people. And these people were what the world considered nobodies. But they proved to be somebody because God used them. That's like us. We're all nobodies, so the Lord uses us. And then we're somebody. And as soon as we start to think we're somebody, then we're turning to nobody again. Oh, Lord, what would you do if I wasn't in the ministry? Plenty, get out of the way. <laughs> right, okay. So anyway, there's Moses. Moses, I'm going to give a character reference to Moses. Moses was the kind of guy that liked to look for burning bushes up in the mountains. And 
And he looked up and he saw this bush burning. It wasn't any, anything different except for he looked up about an hour later and the same bush was burning. So he went up and the bush told him to take his shoes off and he knew it was a different kind of a bush than any he'd ever seen before. He knew it was different. And uh, he told him, the bush told him, well, God told him, he's speaking through the bush. Anything that you, even a bush. See? Uh, <laughs> bush told him uh, that he had to go take all the Jews out of Egypt, which is like taking all the Italians out of Chicago. <laughs> which is quite a job. And Moses, trying to get out of it, he, he started making excuses like, Lord, I don't speak well, Lord. Theologians say he had a stuttering problem. And so God used him anyway, and he gave him Aaron, his mouthpiece. And uh, it's like, imagine him going before the Pharaoh. You'll be the Pharaoh. And Moses was going to go, Lala, 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 let my... Aaron comes back next. And Aaron comes up and taps him on his shoulder and goes, Excuse me, Moses. Let his people go. Moses said, Thanks, Aaron. I needed that. Then there's Noah. Noah wasn't used in the ministry until he was middle aged, you know, about 500. <laughs> this is called sit down comedy. It's okay. And, uh, now can you imagine? Noah preached for 100 years. He didn't even make one convert. It's like Brent. Um, <laughs> for a hundred years, not one kind. Of <laughs> Can you imagine how frustrating it would be to hold an evangelical crusade on your half-finished ark every day and nobody gets saved? Yeah, there weren't even any backsliders, nothing. Then all of a sudden it started to rain and everybody came over to borrow a cup of sugar at once. And then there's all these other people in there. Now, we're all flunkies, right? God can only use flunkies. By the looks of you, you're all going to get used. It's okay? Now, during the end of this song, you're not to sing or clap. Until I give it a signal. And then, now, you're going to sing the second verse. You remember the second verse? Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to sing the first verse. Okay. Now, don't anybody clap until I give the signal, because it always throws my bass player off. <laughs>